Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. In stock exchange, most of the time we'll be hearing risk. How much is the risk and how much is the return? So risk and return chapter, we are going to discuss how to measure this risk. This is our topic. Remember that always we have two types of risk. One is certain risk, uncertain risk. Uncertain risk, risk means it is not in our hands. We can't do anything. Anything can happen. Unmeasurable. What is unmeasurable? Uncertain risk. Whereas if you talk about measurable risk, that is certain risk. We are going to talk about measurable risk only. Whenever we get risk, so which is measurable or certain risk that can be calculated uncertain risk we cannot calculate so certain risk or measurable risk how do we calculate so that we are going to see in today's class risk and returns measuring the risk how do we measure now a few points you have to remember the relevant risk for decision making by the investor is systematic risk systematic risk so, which is measured by beta. One minute. So, the relevant risk for decision making by the investor is systematic risk. We are talking about systematic risk only. Unsystematic, no. So, the risk which is going to bear by the investor is systematic risk which is measured by beta. This is measured by beta. Okay measurable what is measurable only systematic risk point number one to be noted point number two beta is historical measure of systematic risk this is this data beta we are calculating from the historical measure of the previous data present data we don't use it future data is we don't know so previous data whatever data we are having that we are going to use it for measuring the systematic risk. Now, remember one more thing. Higher the variability, higher the systematic risk and vice versa. Variability is more, risk is more. Variability is less, risk is less. Got it? Now, how do we measure this? There are two methods to calculate the risk. What risk? Systematic risk. Systematic risk can be calculated through two measures in statistics. One is correlation method, second one is regression method. Correlation regression we learned already in business statistics, right? Same one, but formula we are changing because we are going to calculate related to the stock. In the stock exchange and sensex, whatever is happening, that risk we are calculating. So, formula is not exactly what we used in the statistics, different formula we are using. Two methods, correlation method and regression method. Let's focus today only on correlation method. This we'll see in the next class. Make it understand very easily. Formula you have to remember. Beta. Beta is equal to RIM rho 1. Rho means standard deviation. Remember? So R correlation. RIM rho 1. Standard deviation 1. RM rho m divided by rho m square. Very easy. R i m rho 1 rho, rho, rho m divided by rho m square. Repeat along with me. Beta is equal to R i m rho 1 rho m divided by rho m square. That's all. What are these abbreviations? Beta. This is beta. R i m. R i m means correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient between the return of stock between the return of stock and return of market index. Return of stock, return of market index. As per the market value, how much it is there and how much the return is there related to the stock. The difference, this is the cor correlation coefficient between these two items we say it as a RIM. Now, R1, rho 1. Rho 1 means standard deviation. Rho is standard deviation. Standard deviation of the returns of stock. Standard deviation of the returns of stock. This one. Rho 1. 
ROM. ROM means standard deviation of return of market value. Standard deviation of the return of the market value. This one. That is why we say it as a M. Rho 1 is standard deviation of the return of the stock. Rho M is standard deviation of the return of market index. Market index. So, market index. So, Rho M we are saying. Next one, Rho M square. Same one, Rho M we are making square. That is why we say it as a variance of market returns. That is all. If you understand this formula, we will go to the problem. The problem is given on the desktop like this. Coefficient of correlation between return of stock and market portfolio. Coefficient correlation between the return of stock and market portfolio. Return of the stock and market portfolio. This one is given 0 0.9. Standard deviation of security. Standard deviation of the security. This one standard deviation of the return of the stock. That is nothing but the security. Standard deviation of the security is 10 percent. Standard deviation of market portfolio, this one market index, this is given 8 percent. Only we need 3 items, 1, 2, 3. 3 items are given to us, 1, 2, 3. Ascertain the beta coefficient. How do we calculate? Very simple. Anyone can calculate if you know the formula. Solution, we will write the formula as it is. Beta is equal to Rim and rho 1 rho m divided by rho m square. Now, we can implement it directly or you can write abbreviations like this. Rim is equal to correlation coefficient between the returns of stock and the returns of market index. That is how much? After this you are writing 0 0.9. Standard deviation of security. This is 10%. And the standard deviation of the return on market value, market value. So, that is 8 percent. Three values, you write it down, then after that we will go for calculation. Beta is equal to RIM. RIM is how much? 0 0.9 is equal to, this is not minus, 0 0.9 into row 1, standard deviation 1, 10 percent, means 10 you will take. And rho m, that is 8 percent, means 8 you will take, 8, divided by, everything divided by, rho m square, rho m is 8, 8 square, okay. So, it, we can do the calculations, 0 0.9, 0 0.9 into 10 into 8, this comes to 72, divided by 8 square, 8 8 is a 64. So, this 72 divided by 64, you will be getting 1.125. Okay. Risk is not more because it is showing 1. 1 means 1 above is risk is less. Answer 1.125. Risk is less. If the answer is below 1, then risk is more. Are you getting it? In this way, we can calculate the risk factor. How much is the risk factor as per the correlation method? Now, one problem is given to you as homework. Ready? Same problem, coefficient of correlation of the stock. So, rather than this, you can change the values. In place of this, you can take 0.7. This is rather than 9, 0 0.9, 0 0.7 you take and standard deviation is 10 percent, same as it is 10 percent and 8 percent, this as it is you take and your answer should be, should be 0 0.93, means risk factor is more here in this problem, why risk factor is more, answer is below 1, above 1 risk factor is less, uh, below 1 this risk factor is more, that is all. So, that is about correlation method. Am I clear? Homework problem also work out and see. Understand the concept, then it will be easy for you to work out. Do not by heart anything. What is this? So, risk factor, how do we calculate in stock exchange, Sensex, 
so only two types of two types of risk are there one is measurable and unmeasurable un unmeasurable we can't do anything measurable can be calculated how do we calculate two methods are there one is correlation regression correlation formula is this so how is the formula what is the formula what they are saying it what does it mean like you have to understand then go ahead next class we'll focus on the regression method take the screenshot and also please practice more times it will be easy for you in the examinations don't forget to share this videos good luck